this is my homemade bait tank. To further explain the build on this, I used a 55 gallon blue drum. I used a blue drum instead of any other color because it's supposed to reduce the stress of the fish. I cut one third of the drum off of the top, which left it flimsy. Uh, this now stands two feet off of the ground. Being flimsy, I had to figure out something to stiffen it up. So I called my local rubber and gasket store. They have this plastic called UHMW. It comes in a sheet, three quarter inch thick. Had them rip a three quarter inch strip off of it, which left it square, three quarter inch by three quarter inch. Now I took this and I wrapped it around on the inside, all the way around it. Made it round and then through bolted with stainless steel bolts and lock nuts on the other side, all the way around it. I'm not going to go all the way around as you can see, that's how it is all the way around. And then for the top I used a half inch piece of Lexan plastic. And then I screwed it straight into the Le to the UHMW with stainless steel screws. Next I cut the door out in the top big enough for big baits. It's about one foot by one foot. For my filtration, this is a home stays plastic container from Walmart. I siliconed it directly in the center to the bottom. My hose, I use zip tie fasteners. Uh, I took the double sided backing off of it. That's the double sided backing. I took that all the way off, scratched the plastic, roughed it up, and used plumber's goop. That sticks really well to the sides. Stick it there. Stick it there. That's about center in the middle of the tank. Then my filters. Bought these from Home Depot or Lowe's. They already come with a hole in the middle. Perfect size for the three quarter inch hose. You stick your coarse mesh filter. Stick that on first. Then stick your fine filter on next and I'm using a 360 gallon per hour bilge pump. I'm going to take this slide it up in there take it stick it down inside the tank like so take the filter double it over both of them and push it over on the other side and push the other side into the other half of the tank and kind of push it around the bilge pump so it encapsulates it. Make sure your filter's filling the sides in all the way because if it's not filling it in, sometimes bait tries to swim down in there and gets stuck. Just try to make sure the filter kind of goes back up, springs back to the corners. Get that just right. Got my wires coming out. I left the hole right here. And also I used some aluminum on these two fasteners because the gap in the middle made the tank kind of kink out a little bit. So I pulled it together with aluminum and that kept it uh, nice and straight. Right now I'm using just your uh, 2D battery hush bubbles. Uh, really it works but I'm going to get the 12 volt set up. It's about 50 bucks for that. I can pump a lot more air to that. This also circulates the water pulls it down in the middle, shoots it back out, clean, and spins the water all the way around so the bait can freely swim, as bait always needs to swim to breathe. They're not like bass or bram or other species. They need to swim all the time. So in order to really reduce the stress and keep them lively, you need to keep them swimming. Of course, you can always cool your water, whatnot. That helps to salt, one pound per 30 gallons, etc. Anyways, hope you liked it.